Good morning, Glacier. It is Thursday, October 13th. I'm Maddie. I'm Caitlin. I'm Abby. I'm Faith. It's Team Thursday. Only the most sincere and enthusiastic students earn Glacier High School Student of the Week. Be very proud of their accomplishments. This week is senior Austin Bigman. He has been selected for the Glacier High School Student of the Week. All right, I'm here with senior Austin Bigman. Austin has been nominated for Student of the Week. So Austin, who do you think nominated you? I'm gonna think that it was Mr. Hashley. Mr. Hashley? Okay, that's a good guess, but it was actually Mr. Smith, Mr. Troy Smith. Um, so Mr. Smith said that Austin has been fantastic to work with every day. He is always happy to be at school and is fully engaged in the topic being discussed and has endless curiosity. So. How do you feel about Dallas? Uh, I would like to thank Mr. Smith personally, as I am a member of his Capstone Engineering course, which I encourage everyone to try to get into because it is an awesome class. Right. Awesome. So yeah, uh, so as nominated student of the week, you get to pick which audio station we listen to for the next week. So there you are, Austin. Yeah. Let's go 80s on 8. 80s on 8? Channel All right. 8. So that's what we're listening to for the next week. Thank All you. Right. So I'm here with Mr. Troy Smith, who nominated Austin for Student of the Week. So, Mr. Smith, why'd you nominate Austin? Austin's just a great kid in class. Um, he comes in every day full of ideas, always willing to work. Um, he's one of the most motivated kids in our capstone course this year so far, and I really appreciate that. And, and he's got endless curiosity, and he's always looking for uh, solutions to problems, and that's what we're looking for. Now for our GTV Athlete of the Week. Several athletes were considered... But this week we are honoring Cash Gokichia as GTV Athlete of the Week. I'm here with Cash Gokichia. He is this week's Athlete of the Week. He was nominated by Coach Bennett and he's a member of our football team. Uh, can you talk a little bit on your recent injury? You know, just battling adversity, coming back from an injury. That's all I gotta say. And what inspired you to, to have such a great game on Friday? Um, I was just inspired by all of my teammates to have a great game. Thank you, Cash. We're here with Coach Bennett, the head coach of our football team, who nominated Cash Gokachia as this week's Athlete of the Week. Can you speak a little bit on that? Well, Cash is a huge difference maker for our football team. I'm really proud of him because he's been injured really since last winter, went through a surgery, and really hasn't been able to play until the last two games. But he's hung in there. He's continued to work hard finally gotten healthy to the point where he can start to play almost a full game and uh, last Friday night he was a huge huge impact for our football team he had 198 yards kickoff return he rushed for 80 yards and a touchdown to seal the game and he had a huge pick six at the end of the first half which kind of really got us back in the game so he really changed the game for us. And now a recap and preview of Wolfpack activities of course the seasons ended for the Wolfpack golf and flag football teams a couple of weeks ago the Wolfpack cheer team continues to shine supporting fall activities. The marching band performed last Friday night and will perform with FHS on Friday night as they wrap up their season. Wolfpack speech and debate started two weeks ago and it's not too late to join. If interested, please see a coach as soon as possible. And the Wolfpack Theatre Company is now in rehearsals a stage of Death of a Salesman, a play that had 72 students audition and will open November 8th. The boys soccer team crushed Flathead 5-2 and then earned a 2-2 tie with Sentinel which should lock up a third seed for the pack in an opening round home game with goals by Hunter Lazowski and Harrison Sanders. Our, goals, er, our girls lost a heartbreaker to the Bravettes 1-0 and then on Saturday the Wolfpack lost to, the set, to Sentinel despite three goals by Red and Brizendine. Both soccer teams will face the Butte Bulldogs today as they wrap up their regular season. The cross country team competed yesterday at the Glacier in Wild. We will share results next week. Last Thursday, the team competed at the Helena 7 on 7 meet. Top three finishers for the boys were Owen Teal, Jeff Willard, and Mac Adkins. Top three finishers for the girls were Alyssa Lowerson, Anna Treader, and Tiara Harworth. The Wolfpack have the weekend off and will compete at the state meet next Saturday in Missoula. The Glacier Volleyball team rose their conference record to 4-5 and five by sweeping view in straight sets 25-10, 25-18, and 25-21. Avon Speer, Ella Farrell, Maddie Frazier, Ella Halliburton, and Julia Hagmeyer were the statistical leaders for the Wolfpack. Tonight, the Wolfpack hosts Flathead in Crosstown action. Games are at 4 p.m., 5.30 p.m., and varsity at 7 p.m. The Wolfpack football team scored 28 points in the third quarter against Butte and completed a comeback with a convincing 55-41 win. Kobe Dorches rushed for 137 yards and scored two touchdowns. Gage Slider threw for 274 yards with four touchdowns to Cone Castellitz. Ben Scholten and two to Bridger Smith. Tomorrow night we face Flathead in Crosstown Action, a series we have absolutely dominated since GHS opened. 
Tomorrow night's game is a big game for our Wolfpack as they try to lock a home game for the playoffs. And here's what you need to know. There will be a mandatory meeting for all student mentors on Monday, October 17th during fifth period and lunch. All mentors will go to the main conference room right after fourth period. We will, we will be discussing the activity for Wednesday, October 19th, as mentors will be in the CCR1 in health classes working with freshmen. Lunch will be provided. If you cannot attend, please see Mr. Labrum ASAP. Today is the last day to sign up for the MAN College Costa Law Scholarship. MAN Mortgage encourages all seniors to enter to win a $500 scholarship. One lucky winner will be selected and announced at the halftime during the Crosstown football game on Friday. This scholarship is open to all seniors planning to attend a higher education institution program or ah, trade school or program. Stop by the Career Center to sign up today. Here are the Crosstown themes for the Crosstown games. Tonight is pink out for the volleyball games and tomorrow night is white out for the football game. A reminder that we will sit on the visitor's side at Legend Stadium. Remember, all detailed announcements can be found on the Daily Bulletin link on the website in this episode and every GTV episode can be found on the same website and on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Remember respect to respect yourself, respect others, and respect the building. Expect excellence.